This is a question from class ninth quadrilateral. This question is based on converse of uh, midpoint theorem. So before we proceed, you should uh, recall what is uh, converse of midpoint theorem. The property says that, or the theorem says that in a triangle, let's say this is a triangle, I name it as ABC. If a line is drawn through the midpoint of one side of a triangle, that means, say, if I take, uh, say, P being given the midpoint of one side, and through P, if you draw a line which is parallel to this, BC, that is the second side, I repeat, the property says, theorem says that, if you draw, the, uh, draw a line through the midpoint of one side, that means P is given the mid up, midpoint of one side, and this line drawn through this point P and is drawn such a way that it is parallel to the other side say BC, then it will bisect the third side. That means we can say R should be, by theorem we can say R should be the midpoint of AC. So this is what uh, this property says. Now, let's read the question. What we see that uh, ABCD is given a trapezium and I can see that here is a trapezium called ABCD, as mentioned, and what else we have that uh, where the two parallel sides are given here. That means here AB is drawn parallel to DC. As you know that in a trapezium, one pair of opposite sides are parallel and here AB is parallel to DC. Further, it says that BD is the diagonal and E is the midpoint of AD. Well, BD is one of the diagonal here and E being the midpoint of AD. These are the information we have. Now, it says further that a line is drawn through this midpoint. As you can see, a line is drawn here and it intersects. A line is drawn through point E and is parallel to BC. This line. No, sorry. A line is drawn parallel to AB here and it intersects this line BC at F. So once again, I'll explain what is given here. First of all, we are given ABCD is a trapezium where the parallel sides are AB and DC. Further, it says that E being the midpoint of AD and through E, a line is drawn, which is drawn such a way that it is parallel to AB and it is intersecting the side BC at point F. Now, what we are required to prove is that F is the F is the midpoint of BC. This is what we need to prove. As I said, we are going to use this converse of midpoint theorem in order to prove this. So what we'll do, for, as you know that uh, for a converse of midpoint, we must consider a triangle. And the first triangle that we'll be considering here is this triangle, that is triangle. We'll be considering triangle A, B, D, right? We'll be taking this triangle first and we'll be applying converse of midpoint. So what we'll be writing here, all right, uh, in triangle A, B, D, we know that uh, E is the midpoint, right? E is the midpoint of AD and this, uh, I'm taking this point, right? As the point is not mentioned, I have to take this point. I've taken this point as G. And what we can say that EG is parallel to AB. You should know that parts of parallel line are parallel. Since this whole line is parallel to this, so it's part, that means this will also be parallel to this. Right? This would be parallel. Now, therefore, therefore, by applying this converse of midpoint theorem, what I can say that G is the midpoint. G is the midpoint of B, D. Right. So conclusion from this mid, applying midpoint theorem is that G is the midpoint of B, D. Once we prove G is the midpoint of B, D, now our focus changes to the other triangle. Now the other triangle here is this. We'll be applying midpoint theorem in this triangle, converse of midpoint. In fact, 
we have this point as g only let's check we already have proved that g is the midpoint of one side that means pd in this triangle and gf i can write parallel to dc as you know that two lines parallel to the same line are parallel repeating we have uh, we have been given that uh, dc is parallel to ab and this gef is parallel to ab therefore this ef will be parallel to dc if not clear i should explain this again what we know that from the question that this is parallel to this these two lines were given parallel and in the other part of the question it says that ef is parallel to this so two lines which are parallel to the same line are parallel to each other that means all these three lines are parallel so now we are considering this triangle that is triangle is this one in this triangle we have already proved that g is the midpoint of bd and further this gf is parallel to dc therefore f will definitely be the midpoint of bc so let's see we need to write down the same thing so first i'll consider the triangle and the triangle we will consider is triangle b c d here we have g is the midpoint right g is the midpoint of b d and that is proved above we have already proved in we have already proved this thing right so and g f is parallel to d c right g f is parallel to this is d c right just d uh, g f is parallel to d c therefore again by applying this converse of midpoint theorem we can say that f is the midpoint of b c f being the midpoint of bc this is what we need to prove here and we have proved it